And I, I made a mistake. I made a WTF moment where I started to compare myself to others. And if you've ever done it, it's a, a terrible thing to do. I don't recommend it. I started to look at all these other people in EO and I said, they've got $10 million businesses, they've got $100 million businesses. It took me eight years to get to a million in revenue. It was an awful long time. And I thought, everybody's got bigger businesses, more glamorous, sexy industries than junk removal. What am I doing? And uh, I said, okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn from this group. They're gonna be my mentors. I'm gonna stop comparing myself to others. So this WTF moment, led me to, actually this reminds me of my parents' doc. My parents have a, uh, had a summer cottage, and I learned from EO, when you're having a hard time, when you're trying to solve a problem, you go take a retreat. So I'm gonna put this down and sit at the edge of my parents' dock at their summer cottage here. Um, so I, I go to their dock, I take out a sheet of paper, one page, double-sided, plain sheet, and I go, I've just wrestled with, for the past few years, panic attacks, anxiety, I'm not having fun. What was this broken heart? The broken heart was me going, I'm comparing myself to others, I'm not happy, I'm feeling the stress, and I realized I was no longer this ADD, I'm still ADD, but no longer an ADD junk man who happened to start the, this business and, and have some luck and success growing it, but what I said is, I'm, I'm making mistakes, I'm learning, I'm having fun, I'm gonna get myself out of this doom loop, and I'm going to take a sheet of paper, and I'm gonna write out pure possibility. Instead of getting drowned in all the doom and, the, and the, all the problems I was having, what's the pure possibility, what's the hope, what could this become if only I applied myself? It was a message I heard in high school, in, in, university, or in uh, elementary school, if only Brian applied himself. So I was gonna apply myself. I took out this sheet of paper, it was like a Jerry Maguire moment, if you've seen that movie, one page, I feverishly wrote out my vision for the future. Five years, what could it look like if I stopped thinking about bad stuff? I said we'd be in the top 30 metros in North America, because there was one city, Vancouver, where we started. We were gonna be in every city at least as big. We would be the FedEx of junk removal, on-time service, upfront rates, clean, shiny trucks, friendly, uniform drivers. We were far from that at this point, but I said that's where we're going to be. I even said we'd be on the Oprah Winfrey show. I mean, how does that happen? A junk man, you can't get on the Oprah Winfrey show. So I took this sheet of paper and I started to share it with everybody around me. And what it did is it took me out of this position of, I can't do this, to I see possibility and what could it look like? So what ended up happening is I had two camps of people when I shared it. I shared it with my parents, my friends, family, everyone around me and all my employees. And when I started sharing it with people, they did one of two things. Half the group said, I don't know what kind of hope dope you're smoking, but this ain't gonna happen. The other half of the group said, wow, this is pretty cool. I see what you see, and I wanna be a part of it. So off I went to take this painted picture and try and make things happen. We got on the Oprah Winfrey show. We built the FedEx of junk removal, and we ended up in the top 30 metros in North America. Now, did I crystal ball the future? <laughs> Absolutely not. I painted a picture, I didn't know where I how I was going to get to where I was going, but I knew where I was going and I could see the vision in my mind.